100 jams where hit music lives. It's all about the midday chop up right here, man. And 11:30 chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Of course, you know, I have my boy Jay Shepard in the mix with Guide Me. Got to give you some positive messages as we are getting into the weekend right now. But let me let you know what's happening in the media because, man, I really got to talk about it today. And right now, I got Miss Tamika in studio with me, another strong black opinionated woman who's going to let you know how she feel what's on her mind today. Tamika, how are you feeling on this beautiful Friday? Oh, listen, blessed and just happy that it's officially TGIF. Okay. It has been one crazy week, but we're here. Hello. Yeah, and the weekend is here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good. So what you got planned for this weekend? Uh, the same thing I did last weekend and the weekend <laughs> before that and the weekend before that. Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Avoiding these COVID-filled uh-huh. Covered streets. Oh, you're one of those. Yes. You're one of those. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's good, man. That's good. So let's get into it, man. Talking about Mr. Kodak Black. So going to start things off with him. Kodak Black is now freshly out of prison. And from the looks of it, he's tired of being in these streets. Some of us aren't, but he's tired of it and is ready to settle down. And he has apparently asked his new girlfriend, Miss Melorax, to marry him. And she said yes. Now, I'm not too happy about this. You know, I'm a big Kodak fan. It's just like, where did this come from? How long did this woman be in um, been in your life but at least that's the story that they're actually pushing on social media unless to me this is just another publicity stunt however anytime there's a happy home there's always someone coming to crash it so another female by the name of miss Rene trill she's coming out claiming that she has been dating kodak black on and off since 2018 and she was just recently at his house in florida and she even shared some dms but kodak fans are already attacking her for going public and sharing their private conversations and some fans are actually stating that you know she's just jealous of their and well his engagement with um miss mellow racks now i'm just saying that's a bit disrespectful um, for him to go ahead and, you know, I'm just saying, go on down on one knee to another female, seeing that he's still dealing with um, another one already. How you feel about that, Tamika? Well, first of all, he's been out for, what, two minutes? Kind of, kind of, kind of so. This, everything is, everything's quick. Uh-huh. Everything has transpired really, really quickly. I'm personally not a Kodak fan. Oh, wow. So. I don't like that. Sorry, but <laughs> I, 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 uh-huh. I, I can't connect. I can't. But. More power to anybody claiming him, honestly. Yes. But you are a music connoisseur, so this is your thing. But I... Not so much. So no. You, 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 don't, you don't really care for no, it. No. Give, give me Jay-Z. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm With not... With the big ballers. Yeah, well, I'm just... Uh-huh. If I can... I have, I have to understand your lyrics. I, okay. I don't, oh. I don't understand his lyrics. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So, let's talk about Miss um, April Jones and Mr. Mario. I'm pretty sure you're um, familiar with B2K then. I am. So now there's been rumors from back in the day stating that Mr. Marion could have been possibly gay. But the rumors stayed at just rumors. And, you know, his baby mother now, Miss April June, she's coming out and saying that she actually saved him from the gay rumors when they had actually joined Love and Hip Hop. Um, you know, which it aired and it showed them having their first son together and everything after that. But I don't know. I don't like the fact that she's coming out now and saying this. Seeing it, it's, it's almost like you're bashing him still. Like you're still trying to remain relevant and still at the same time, you know, just, yeah, not making him look so good in headlines. I agree. And um, this is about six or seven years yeah. ago. So why talk about it now? Yeah. Why, why, why? Dig up, why dig up this grave? Exactly. Just leave it alone. She's moved on, clearly. Hello. A few times. Hello. So <laughs> why even, why are you still uh-huh. even acknowledging him and talking about him? I don't why get does it, it even matter? And her new guy should be real upset about that, too. Well, I don't know. She was just recently seen with Dr. Dre. So who knows? It could have just been um, some business, a little business meeting. Mm, but possibly. <laughs> possibly. But me, I'm not moving backwards. I'm going exactly. forward. I'm not even addressing anything in my past. Like I That's said, a, what a I strong do. black woman we got in studio with me today, man. <laughs> but talking about, um, you know, moving on. New relationships, you know, Future and his now girlfriend, Miss Desior, are now in Nassau, Bahamas, enjoying life. Oh, that the nice. Th- listen, that scenery did look familiar. Didn't it realize did. they were here. Yeah. yeah. They're in town. Okay, okay. So, you know, we're going to talk about Future's ex now, Miss um, Laurie Harvey. Uh huh. Oh, boy. So, a little boozy now. Said a few things about Laurie Harvey on social media, stating that she should not be relationship goals for any woman, you know, and he also shared the fact that. We constantly bash females in society about, you know, sticking with your guy, holding your guy down, even though he probably messed up on you a few times, you know, cheated, had you gone crazy out your mind. We bash women like that. But then we praise women that go from man 
to man to man to man and they, they can even run the same circles right. now how do you feel about that um tamika well first of all my my take on boozy is he should mind the business that pays him hello I and i feel that. as if boozy everybody's entitled to an opinion but i feel as if boozy is possibly now only trying to stay relevant by acknowledging uh-huh. every single thing that happens yeah in the media and you giving know. his opinion yeah just mm-hmm. fo- focus on your diabetes boozy oh gosh yeah no seriously that he's, that he's, requires extra special care and attention he's and one of them hurtful set you gotta, hey, you gotta watch I'm, what you say to you yeah I'm just <laughs> i'm just honest and i just feel as if you know uh-huh. a woman's business and whatever she's doing is nobody else's business Which men do it all the time and i'm sick of the double standard Men well, do it all the time. Well, which is true, and that's actually what Boozy is stating. But to me, I'd say Boozy isn't a thousand percent incorrect, mm-hmm. and he isn't a thousand percent correct. Okay. Because I'm just saying, at the end of the day, um, if you're with a guy and he is going out, he's is doing stuff outside the relationship constantly, which mm-hmm. is causing, you know, what I mean, you to have issues. Mm-hmm. You should let it go. No woman should stay for that. Right. And at the same time, when it comes to her going from guy to guy, at the end of the day, that is her choice. Yes. And like you said, no one should judge her for that. But seeing right. that the industry is very small. The industry is like living in the Bahamas. We all know the Bahamas is super small. From you go with Tom, from you go with Harry. Mm-hmm. Basically, Tom may be Harry's cousin. Right. And even, I'm just saying, in some cases, Tom is Harry's friend and women still go ahead and do that. Right. So he's stating that when it comes to um, Laurie Harvey seeing that, I think what? She dated she dated Akon and she also dated Akon's brother. Mm-hmm. Was this his brother? Allegedly. Yeah. Or alleg- these are allegedly. Factual- okay. Well, he stated this, mm-hmm. so you know, this is just basically boozy words that I'm going off of right now. Right. But it's just the fact that um the industry is super small and you know, she's just been around with so many men. Yeah, but how do we business. know how do we know? <laughs> she slept with them. Exactly. That's another thing. We uh-huh. if there's no proof uh-huh. that she's done this, you know, because People nowadays, for some reason, they feel as if you're dating somebody means yeah. you're going all the way. That doesn't mean that. Hello? You saw me out with somebody on Saturday at uh-huh. this spot, particular spot. Mm-hmm. You saw me the following day or see me the following day with somebody else. It doesn't mean I'm committed to this person yeah. or anything else has happened. We yeah. may just be friends. Yeah. I have male friends, uh-huh. you know, and I hang out with my male friends. I mean, of course, not during this pandemic. Yeah. But you know, people tend to do that. We as a society, we have to stop doing that. And like I said, unless you have actual factual proof and evidence that these people are doing more than than the the minimum. Uh-huh. Unless you got the video. Right. Unless you got the video or a photo exactly. coming out. <laughs> we, we can't assume. You can't necessarily say that. Yeah. Yeah, well, I definitely could agree with that one. But on the Facebook Live right here, you know, I have, um, well, the question is, should Laurie Harvey be gold? And, you know, one of the gentlemen right here, he's saying that, no, she should not. I also got another gentleman by the name of Sean Smith. He's saying that Laurie Harvey is a runaround girl. And, oh, gosh, yeah. And I got Trent right here, McIntosh, is saying that, of course, no, she should not be gold. All I can say that I think the hate now is coming from this. Because when she first came um, to the spotlight, she first was in the headlines. Mm -hmm. Everyone loved her. She was so beautiful. She seen Harvey's daughter, you know. But seeing that she is now happy, it's always when you're happy in life, you know. Yeah, the roaches come crawl out. (laughs) Yeah, the roaches on the (laughs) rise. Don't forget the (laughs) rise. So it's like as soon as she's seen happy with the sexiest man alive, Michael B. Jordan. Okay, well, anyhow, (laughs) that's just what he's being, you know. Steamed as. Yes, yes. yes. That's 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 what society has given him. Okay. He is sexy, though, but. Anyhow, we're going to get into that. His eyes are sexy. I have some dreams about Michael B. But really? <laughs> really? <laughs> this okay. is before Laurie Harvey. But I'm saying the fact that, you know, she's now seen um, happy on social media. Mm-hmm. I think this has a lot of persons pissed. Yeah. Because Boozy is saying that, you know, the only guy can sh- the only guy that she can get to hold her down or to wife her mm-hmm. is someone like Michael B. Jordan. Because he's saying that, you know, all of future them, all Trey songs, they should be praised because they just ran through through her and the fact that you know Michael B. Jordan's the only kind of guy she can get because he isn't I guess what he would probably say like a real man or you know but see the thing is Uh at the end of the day if Lori is happy and Michael is happy then why does that matter yeah why does it matter why is everybody else all upset and mad why are they mad I don't know you know what I mean personally for me she's not my goals yeah you know like everybody said she's not my goals I think everybody should just be their own goals yeah you know what I mean? And stop Bang. looking to 
to uh-huh. these celebrities yes. for for confirmation. Exactly. But that's my five. Cents. No, I definitely agree with yeah. that. But thank you, Tamika, for having me here. Of course. Well, th- thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm gonna thank, thank you, you for, for having, having me. me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, man. Letting you know what's happening in the media right there, man. Chat trap. Lots to talk about. All right, jumping back into the mix. You know, I gotta play some future. Not trying to start no controversy, but it's my favorite song. Yeah, wicked. Turn this up.